In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a nice beautiful YouTube banner like this. These steps when followed carefully can be used to create such beautiful banners using softwares like Canva and any other software that you can use to make YouTube banner. But this time around, we're going to make use of Photoshop. And without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Hey everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here. Thank you so much for showing up again. So let's jump right into Photoshop. Now, these are the resources that I'm going to use for this particular banner. I will link a lot of them in the description with the exception of the image because you would have to provide your image in the banner. So the first thing that I'm going to drag and drop inside of Photoshop is the Photoshop channel art template. So I'm going to send that straight into Photoshop. You don't need to resize it or do anything to it. It has been done for you already. Now I'm going to set my rulers or guides over here. If you don't have it, you just press Ctrl and R to activate that. So I'm going to set it over here just to make sure that I'm not going way beyond the limits. That is the tablet and mobile limit because I'm designing this banner to specifically fit that of um, tablet and mobile fonts. So I don't need to make the design go beyond that areas. So next off, I'm going to select my rectangle and then I'm going to create a rectangle around the shaded area. That is the deep area. So I create my rectangle over here and then I go ahead to click OK. I'll go back to my resources and then I'm going to add this background outdoor color. So I'm going to stretch it out like this and make sure it does feel the whole thing like that. But then I want it to be specially inside the rectangle. So I right click and go to create clipping mask. Next off, I'll try to make it around here something somewhere around here and then i'll go to filter blur and then gaussian blur so i'm going to blur this one out a little bit so that it wouldn't be all that solid okay so quickly i go to okay and then i'm going to extend my rectangle a little bit to make it cover the places all right so this is what i have next off i'm going to choose my ellipse tool and then i'm going to create an ellipse on top of the yellow background so i hold shift and then create a perfect ellipse background i told you i want everything to be in the middle so i press ctrl a and then center it right in the middle i'm going to left click and create a clipping mask also because i want this around this area like that now i'm going to change my color to black and then click OK. And then I'm going to set the opacity to 20%. So I'm just going to select the opacity and drop it to 20%. Better still, you can just press 2 on that if you want to. I made a tips on how to do all these. If you want to check it out, I'll put it in a link in the description. Okay, so I'll press Ctrl J to make a duplicate of this particular ellipse. And then I create the clipping mask again. Press Ctrl T to resize it a bit smaller like this so that that will make it a bit opaque. Next off, I'm going to bring in my picture and then this is a picture of Karina Maria, an Instagram model. I did this banner actually for her and then I'm using it to make the tutorial. So I right click and then go to rasterize layer, right click and then create a clipping mask. So I want a body around here as beautiful as that and then i'll press ctrl a and then make sure that i center her also so just like that okay so next off i'm going to duplicate her image like that and then i'm going to drag it to the other side the faded image that you saw at the background so i'm going to also create a clipping mask for that one and then that one i'm going to press ctrl u to increase it out a little bit like this and then i'm going to set this one to soft light so 
so we're going to have it appear in the background very nicely like this next up i'm going to select my test tool and then i'm going to write a test i'm going to use the font called acrobat to write this test it will be linked up in the description if you want to download it so acrobat and then i'm going to write a name so karina maria so i'm writing this name all together and then i'm going to increase the font like that change the color to black and then i click ok so i press ctrl a and then i'll center it right over here and then i'll make this particular one semi bold and then that's pretty much it so you press ctrl t and then you increase it out a little bit like that but then i just make sure that these areas are a bit separated like this okay and then you can delete this one back okay now i'm going to set this particular one also to 70 percent so you can decrease the um the opacity from this side and then that's it so you can still stretch it out a little bit like that so that's it and the next thing is i'm going to add a rectangle to this that is where i'm going to add a social media handle so i add a rectangle over here one over here and then it has to be black and then i'm going to change the opacity also too so basically in this particular design i use a lot of opacity so 50 percent will do and then i'll duplicate that and then send it over here also so i'm going to zoom in carefully so i'm going to add my first social media handle and that will be instagram over here and then i'm going to crop it out so if your instagram or your social media handles are plenty you would have to make a lot of room for that so i'll open it up like that right click and then go to blending options and then i'm going to change the color to white so that it can be a bit visible for you to see so i'm going to add a test to this one and then i'll write somewhere else here and her instagram is um, karina maria dot off you can follow her on instagram and on tiktok so i'll press ctrl t to resize this very nicely and then place it over here so that is it or you can just drag it over here but then i prefer i i think this one looks nice right there so i'm going to select the two right over here and then i'm going to press ctrl j to duplicate them slide them over to the side and then i'm going to delete the instagram handle go back to my resources and then i'm going to import in the tiktok logo so i try to make it small like that small to match the design okay so it's it's a bit big over here all right so this smaller will do and that's pretty much it this is the whole design very simple but very nice so what i'm going to do at this point is on top of all these i'm going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and then i'm going to increase the saturation a little bit more to make the colors and the background color very popping so from there i'm going to select the first layer that is the hue and saturation go straight down to the rectangle and then i'm going to group them and that is all that we are having over here so it it is different from that of the background now from there i'm going to right click and then go to the blending options i'm going to add a drop shadow to it and then i'll increase it up a little bit like that so that it gives it that nice looking edges so i'm going to duplicate this make sure that the duplicated one is beneath it so i'll drag it beneath so i'm going to right click and convert the duplicated one to smart object and then i'm going to right click and go to rasterize 
So I'm basically going to stretch this one out to make the background. So I'll stretch it out a little bit like this and then I'm going to send it on top over here like that. All right. And then I'm going to take OK to transform it. Then I go to filter and then blur and then Gaussian blur. And then I'm going to blur this out a little bit like that. So you can increase it out if you'd want. And then because that part isn't going to show up in your banner. So you can just blur it out off totally or anything like that. And then again, we make a duplicate of that, drag it to the down or beneath of it. And then there you go. That is your banner. Your banner is ready. Mind you, all these parts are not showing up in your banner. So you have to focus mainly on this rectangle, the rectangle that we created. Anything that goes in there is coming up in your banner on YouTube. So the rest would have to be just the background. If you don't want to use the same banner as the background, you can add a solid color from here. So you can add a straight solid color. So you can go for a color from this particular one, something like this, or you can go a bit yellowish. Anything from this banner will make it look popping. But then using the same or duplicating the same banner, the whole of it, grouping it and then using it as a banner makes it also look very popping. So a quick correction over here, her Instagram and TikTok are both Karina Maria. So it's actually Karina Maria like this. And the TikTok is also Karina Maria like that. So it's not Karina Mari. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and check out other channel ads that I've made. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Innocent here and bye.